Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to go through 23 things to do before your track day. So let's get to it. Number one is check your oil. So I'm not going to show you how to do this because there's plenty of guides online. But check your oil, make sure it's between minimum and maximum. And if the oil is a bit low, or it's looking quite a dirty colour, go and get it changed or get it topped up. Number two on the list is get underneath your car and just check for anything loose, anything that's caught on any suspension components, anything like that, anything that looks out of the ordinary. Next thing to do is check the torque on the wheel nuts. Now this is very important because you don't want those coming loose while out on track. If you want a GR Yaris, you want 103 newton meters. Don't know what that is in foot pounds, use Google. Uh, but yeah, just check them all all round all four corners because you don't want something to fall off. Next up, while you're down here checking, number four is check the tyres. So this is going to be the only contact patch between you and the track, so it's important to check these are okay. So you want to check for any rips in the side walls, you want to check that there's uh, plenty of depth on the tyre and that the tyre's not going to go bald. Also you want to check for any screws, nails or anything like that that's embedded in the tyre that could cause issues. Next on the list is number five. So this is, if you've maybe got an aftermarket exhaust, this probably applies to you. What you want them to do is make sure that you're not over any decibel readings for that track day. So go online, find out what the limit is, and test your exhaust before you go, because there's nothing worse than going and finding out that your car's just too loud to actually participate in the track day. Underneath the bonnet, on most cars at least, you want to just check your coolant. Kind of make sure that there is enough in there and that you've got no coolant leaks. Because again, coolant leak on a track can be dangerous, it can be slippery, but also can damage your engine. So check that. And while we're in here checking the coolant, number seven is check things like the belts. Uh, check around the engine bay, make sure there's no loose fittings, any wiring that you've put in the car, make sure it's not dangling down somewhere where it can get caught in a belt or anything else that's a moving part. If it's an older car, Definitely check your belts, make sure they're in good condition, they're not perishing, they're not cracked, they're not fading. Because losing a belt on a track day is going to be nasty. Another one to check while you're down here as well is brake pads. It's something that does wear out and sometimes there can be unexpected wear, maybe if a pad is stuck. So just have a look in the wheel and just make sure there is enough brake, uh, brake pad life left before your track day. Because they are going to get a punishing. You can often see just inside my car, and you can see exactly how much life is left in the pads. Next up we've got check your tyre pressures. Now these are going to be very important for you when you're out on track but you also want to make sure there's enough tyre pressure in the car beforehand because that will help make sure you don't have to slow punch or anything like that and it's just good habit. Pick up something like this for a tyre pressure gauge from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for this one. They're only very cheap and very day easy to figure this out. So you have your gauge and then you literally place it on here and we get a reading. Perfect. Number 10, we have wash your car. So give your car a good wash, especially the windows. Even if you can't wash the car, clean the windows, because clean windows makes a difference, especially on a track day. But yeah, wash your car. It has some great benefits, such as at least you know if you pick up any damage, whether it's new damage from the track day or something else. Also it allows you to wipe the car down, make sure nothing is loose, make sure everything is in good condition. It uh, also gives you a chance to get everything out of the car. So any rubbish, anything that could get trapped under pedals, get rid of it. If there are things like car seat, get rid of it. Get it out of the car. You don't want that flying around the car while you're on track. Now the car's had a quick rinse down, let's give it a quick wash. My car is pretty clean, so we're just gonna give it a quick two bucket method wash and the wheels and it should be good to go. Another thing that can be really handy to bring along 
it's a set of tools. So just basic, some basic hand tools. So you just can get yourself out of a sticky spot. Here, of course, we've got a torque wrench, really important for your wheels. Basic set of screwdrivers, some spanners, and it can be also handy to bring a fire extinguisher, just in case the worst happens, at least you've got one. So now we're finished with the car, we wanna start making sure we've got things packed and ready to go to the track. So first up, you wanna pack a bag. So this is step 12, this is a car pro bag, and you just wanna make sure you can pack a cat, and like that. And take that with you on a track day. No, step 12, you wanna pack, step 12, you don't wanna pack a cat, you wanna pack some cleaning products. So you've got things like just a rapid detailer, just for cleaning off uh, little pe bits and pieces that pick get picked up. You've also got some brake parts cleaner, just to give anything, uh, clean down that you might need to clean up. Brake orientated. And another one that I really find handy is some glass cleaner. So, Nothing worse than being on a track day and you can't see where you're going, so check some glass cleaner with you. Number 13, you're gonna need to make sure you bought your wheel nuts. So if you've got locking wheel nuts, make sure you bring your locking wheel nuts key. This is gonna be very important. If you do pick up a puncture or any issue where you need to remove a wheel, there'll be nothing worse than stuff without the key. To go along with that, make sure you've got the right sockets to get your actual normal wheel nuts off as well. Now we saw it earlier, number 14, bring that tyre pressure gauge that you just used. So you check the tyres out there, but maybe you want to edit the tyre pressures. As tyres get hotter, they will, uh, the tyre pressure will increase. So you might want to decrease the pressure with this little button here. And if you do have an issue, you want to check that you can find that issue. Number 15, you want a tyre pump. So if you are letting out pressure out of your tyres, you may want to put pressure back in before the end, or if you do have a puncture, this will get you out of the flat spot. Uh, in a jiffy, so these are really handy to have around. This is an electric one, we we'll just plug it into the cigarette later. Number 16, and so that's often overlooked, driver's license. So, I won't show you the other side of this, but make sure you've got your driver's license and insurance certificate. This is sometimes one to be seen um, by the track officials before you get on track. Now, at some place you, places you may also need track day insurance, so if you can, pick that up as well. A pair of boots and a pair of gloves. So. You're going to be driving all day, potentially to the dra track and back, so you want to make sure you've got some comfortable shoes with which to uh, drive long distances. I find the racing boots very handy because there's a bit of grip around the heel, so as you're leaning on the carpet you've got a bit there, and they're nice, comfortable and very light. If you're not going for boots and you've just got comfortable shoes, get some gloves because you're going to be driving for quite a while and you're going to be hot and sweaty. There's nothing worse than having hot and sweaty hands on a steering wheel and either ruining the leather or getting a, a burn if you are drifting and you've got, say, Alcantara uh, rim. So get some nice grippy gloves so that your hands stay sweat-free and grippy on that steering wheel. So if you lose grip, you will crash. Number 18, make sure you've got some spare parts and things that you may need. Things like cable ties, bring a few different versions, different sizes, small ones, big ones. I find medium ones are pretty much dead on. And any spare parts you're gonna need. So things like uh, spare wheels, spare tires, if you are uh, changing them, or even things that you know you can't typically consume. If you're an Evo owner, maybe a, get a crank um, cam position, position sensor, put that in there as well. Number 19, bring something to drink. So this is a nice big bottle and something to eat. So you can see here, cereal bars, great, because it doesn't matter if they get too warm, if they're left in the car. You don't want to bring chocolate, things like that, that will give you a nice bit of energy. A nice big drink, because drinks can be expensive there and you don't want to get you getting dehydrated. And sometimes there aren't even drinks available. So bring something along so you stay hydrated. Next up, we have your helmet, or otherwise known as your skid lid. So make sure the interior is all in good condition, that all the foam is in good condition and it fits you and feels comfortable. Some people like to run a balaclava underneath for extra comfort. Make sure that it's a good quality one that will protect your head. Uh, I've got a GoPro mount on this, but also make sure that the uh, tint on your visor is not too dark, because remember, some track days, especially in England, can get pretty dark with poor weather. So you want to make sure this is all in good condition before you go and it also meets the standard of wherever you are track day. If you are running a roll cage, make sure you're running a helmet. Next up, bring some spare oil. Now this is not the oil for the Ducati Yaris, so don't worry this is not going in it, but as a representation, bring some spare oil. Track day work can be hard work, 
and you can't make it through more oil than expected. And also, if it is got a small leak, better the top up and run dry. Next up, if you are taking a GoPro or any kind of camera, just make sure your batteries are charged and you've got a memory card that has been erased, ready to go for the day. Nothing worse than finding out you've got no battery and or you've got no uh, storage space on your action cameras. And the final step before you go on your track day is get some petrol. So there's nothing worse than getting to a track day and having to cut it halfway because you've got to run out and get some fuel to come back. So we're at the petrol station, let's just get a full tank. There we go, that wasn't a full tank, just three quarters of the tank, but it means that I can drive all day long and not have any issues where I need to escape and go and get some petrol. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just like a my track prep guidelines or checklist. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe comment down below. If you didn't like it, perfectly fine, give it a thumbs down as well. Just let me know how I can do it better in the future. Until the next time, goodbye.